praise the lord everyone i'm so happy to speak to you all through this program on behalf of sinai ministries and our entire family here uh, i would like to wish you all a very very happy independence day 75 years ago uh, our nation attained her independence and uh, it's a it's a good day to commemorate the good things that have happened to our nation isn't it and i always keep thinking how the people 75 years back would have reacted when they heard of the independence that midnight when they got that message they would have celebrated with so much of joy they would have been so happy i can just try to imagine the faces of people laughing smiling many would have shed tears of joy and i always wonder from where that joy came it was because they struggled so much to attain that independence many people sacrificed their lives many people sacrificed their children many people sacrificed their careers probably they just wanted to take that stand all they wanted was freedom and they were ready to pay the price for that and when the price that was paid and all the toil and the hardship when that gave fruit when the freedom finally came it gave that joy to people and today the lord wants his people to be filled with joy he doesn't want us to be sad he doesn't want us to be always in suffering and struggling i know we all have to work hard in this life if we need to attain a goal we need to work towards that we need to put all our efforts but many a times many of our lives it's defined only in that suffering many people say my life if you want to summarize it in a line that it's only been full of hardship full of suffering there has been no fruit there has been no joy no that's not the testimony what god wants us to have in fact the story of independence shows us that everything that we do it has a result our labor in the lord is not going to go in vain that's what the bible teaches us and therefore we need to look forward to that joy that god has for us to that freedom that god has for us and today that's the word that the lord wants to share with you even as you are uh, thanking god for the independence day and as a nation as we are celebrating we are going to pray for our nation we are going to pray for all the families in our nation every home needs to be blessed we are going to pray that the lord will bless our nation and let's pray that after 75 years of independence that our nation will not go down only the lord can help us to come up again be prosperous again i know there are many things happening around us that is not going to give us joy today you may be thinking i'm speaking about joy but when we look at our economy or when we look at the state people are living in when we look at different statistics and data that is available on our nation i know it's not joy that we feel but there's a bit of fear that comes in our hearts but that's why we have hope in the lord king david is saying in psalm 16 verse 11 he says you have made known the path of life to me in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore he's saying there is fullness of joy in the presence of god and he's saying there is pleasures forevermore at the right hand side of god i know this verse might be so confusing for you but this is the message that god wants to share with his people i know that situations that have been going around you may be watching me watching this program probably in a situation where you can never say that you have joy you might be sitting and watching this program in fear maybe your work your job is in danger maybe the house that you have spent your savings your money on is in danger it's 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 in jeopardy it's going to go away from you something that you have invested in is in a question mark or probably the children whom you are waiting on you are worried about their future you're worried about your future what is going to happen to me will i will i succeed in the exam that i have given these may be some of the questions that are probably bothering you and it's killing your joy your situation is against 
this statement that you are go- you you are with joy maybe today is not a day to celebrate for you because of what you are going through but god wants to give you that freedom in your spirit where you are down where you are broken because of your situation god wants to revive you to- today do you believe that god can do it for you so how can i get this joy jesus shows us the way in john chapter 15 verse 10 and 11 he says when you abide in me when you keep my commandments you abide in me just like how i ab- abide in the father and when you abide in me my joy will be in you and your joy shall be made complete hallelujah the lord wants to give us complete joy this joy is so essential because only if you are happy if you are full of joy only then that joy can spread to others it can spread to our church it can spread to our community and it will spread to our nations if we are broken if we are not able to be a blessing to others then how can we make a change in the world how can we make a change in the nation i know we have to pray for our nation i know we need to stand up for what is the truth but sometimes a situation brings us down the bible clearly tells us that we may be going through bad situation but that does not have to kill our joy we can be happy despite our problems because our happiness does not depend on our circumstance hallelujah that's the truth god wants to impress upon you and me and our nation today no matter what we are going through through the power of the holy spirit god has given us joy always in him god has given us freedom in him and we need to experience that in our daily lives in our personal lives only then can we spread it to all those who are around us the greatest thing about this joy is that it's not forced i'm not asking you to force that joy but wherever the presence of god is wherever the holy spirit is there is joy one of the gifts of the holy spirit is joy and how can he he be there and we cannot have joy this chapter that i was talking about this verse that i was talking about from psalm chapter 16 verse 11 it's believed that david wrote it when saul was chasing him through the wilderness to kill him and when he was hiding in a cave with 400 people taking care of the needs of those people also that's the time david has written that in your presence there is fullness of joy does it seem like a very joyful situation it almost looks like our lives today where we are afraid of what the future holds for us we are afraid of how our children are going to live how this nation is going to fare in the coming 75 years how will it be will the finances be enough will the assets be enough will our jobs be enough to uphold us you are asking those questions there are different kinds of diseases around us will it take us what will happen now after the whole covid pandemic people are afraid for their lives we are afraid to step out we are afraid to take risks to take big decisions because we don't know if we will be there the next minute i know whatever i'm saying right now are things that are against joy they bring fear but thanks be to god i really thank god for this verse that david has uh, written that david has spoken to the lord in the midst of such a fearful situation a situation where he was hiding for his life running for his life he's saying you have made known to me the path of life you have given me the fullness of joy you have helped me to see pleasures forever more in your right hand that's the power of the presence of god and today we are going to pray that that presence of god should flood into your homes that presence of god should flood into your heart that presence of god should flood every city every district every state in our nation hallelujah only then there is going to be deliverance that's what the bible says hallelujah the lord is spirit and where the spirit of the lord is where his presence is there is deliverance there is deliverance from everything every wicked thing every evil practice every sinfulness every lawlessness will change how through the presence of the holy spirit maybe you and i cannot go and stand in every street corner and point out the mistakes of people and call for repentance there was a time when people did like that maybe today it's not easy to do that but thank god for the spirit of god for his presence where his presence is there there is going to be life 
joy, abundance and pleasures forevermore. Do you receive this word for yourself? Do you receive this word for our country? The Lord is going to do great things. Hallelujah. When we are in him, he can change every situation. I am reminded of Hannah in the Bible. All her life, she was humiliated. She was barren and she was pr provoked always just because she was barren. She was always insulted, provoked. You, you may be in that situation today. All your life you have struggled like how we spoke in the beginning. How the people, they struggled all their life for independence. But then there was one day she ran to the presence of God. She ran into the temple. She couldn't take it anymore. She didn't go end her life. She didn't go pick a fight with her rival. She ran to the temple, to God's presence. She understood that truth. That there is nowhere else where we can find life and joy and completion except in God's presence. Today, whatever you may be struggling with, whatever our nation is struggling with, the, the solution is found in the presence of God. Not in picking a fight, not in winning arguments, not in ending your life. Suicide is not the answer for to come out of problems. The presence of God is like Hannah. We are going to run into the presence of God. And the Bible tells us that after she went to God's presence, wept and prayed and poured out her heart like water before the Lord, her face was not downcast anymore. Hallelujah. The, maybe her situation didn't change. She didn't have a baby immediately in her hand. But her face was not downcast anymore. Can you see the power of the presence of God? When you run to Him, there is joy. There is fulfillment. Before you get the answer for your problem, before your circumstance changes, you are filled with joy. God wants you to experience that. And this joy that is in you, it's so infectious. It's, it's so powerful that it will spread to everybody around you, to the entire community around you. If you are sorrowful, if you are broken, then everything around you will become the same way. But thanks be to God, when He fills you with His Holy Spirit, when you receive that joy from His presence, it's infectious. It starts spreading to our community, to our nation. We start making a difference. Remember Mary, she was full of the Holy Spirit and she was conceived of the Holy Spirit, carrying the Son of God. She runs to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And as soon as Elizabeth hears a greeting of Mary in her ears, the baby in her womb, leaped for joy. How did that happen? It was the power of the Holy Spirit. See, when the Holy Spirit is in you, wherever you go, you become a channel of His joy, a channel of His blessing. You can go into a place of death and, and, and people. you can bring people healing, bring people life. Your words will bring healing to people. Hallelujah. There are so many people to criticize, so many people to spread negativity, so many people to spread words of sin, words of death. But how privileged we are to be the channels of His joy. Wherever we go, God wants us to spread that joy. The Bible says that there's a river in the city of God whose streams make her glad. Who is that river? You are that river. God wants you to not only have that fullness of joy. God not only wants you to have that full freedom in Him. He wants you to be like that river. Like a bubbling brook of joy that spreads everywhere and spreads gladness wherever you go. Hallelujah. What a great promise that the Lord is giving us. This Independence Day, He wants us to make us a channel of His joy, of His presence, of His peace. There's nothing greater than that in this world. God is giving us hope for the nation today. A hope to look forward to. Things may be looking hopeless, but today God is giving a hope for our nation, India. You know what's that hope? It's you. You are that hope. You, one person filled with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. You are the answer to all our nation's problems, to the, to the, problem, uh, you're the, answer to the problems of all the people struggling. It's not your money. It's not your charitable work. It's the presence of God living in you. Wherever you go, you will become a solution. You will become, hallelujah, that ointment of healing. You will become that ointment of healing for our nation. Do you believe that? Shall we pray right now? Jesus finally told his disciples. In John chapter 16, he says, 
up until now you have not asked me anything ask me so that your joy may be complete till now we have probably adjusted but with all the problems that have been around us we have told okay it's okay maybe god's will is that we have to be like this maybe god has already planned this for me maybe god has sent this punishment for me but jesus is telling up till now up until now you have not asked me anything ask me so that your joy may be complete we are going to ask the lord lord restore to us that joy like how i said 75 years back the people would have been rejoicing today because they understood the value of the freedom they got they were so happy to see the fruit of all their suffering and sacrifice today there are many people who are suffering and sacrificing and they are ending their lives because they are not seeing the fruit so we are going to pray for our nation we are going to intercede lord change the situation the lord will answer and say lord make me the answer make me that channel of your peace of your blessing of your joy can you say that to the lord today let's lift our hands up wherever we are and open our mouth and with a heart that is full of faith full of trust in god almighty can we just say lord thank you for the independence that you gave to our country thank you for making us a country lord thank you so much that before the foundations of the earth were laid your eyes was upon us your eyes was upon india oh god hallelujah so you preserved you protected there were many leaders there were many emperors there were many kings who ruled over us oh god but ultimately every single time year after year and even now you are still on the throne you are the god of this nation you are our king oh god and right now we are looking to you as your subjects as your citizens we are crying to you oh god hallelujah we bring the requests of our nation before you we bring the troubles of the people before you oh god oh hallelujah the bible says that the government is upon your shoulders oh rama shandala rabakaba therefore we bring oh god all the troubles of our people the financial uh, troubles the emotional struggles oh hallelujah the the problems that people are having in their health oh god the deteriorating hallelujah society life the deteriorating hallelujah health of the people hallelujah the deteriorating economy hallelujah even the deteriorating democracy we bring it to your throne we place it before you oh god i thank you that your gracious eyes are upon our problems i thank you lord that you are paying heed to our prayers right now i thank you father that heavens are opened oh god i thank you lord for your power that you have given us hallelujah to call unto you to ask of you today we are asking hallelujah that you will come down oh lord what our nation needs right now is not more money it's not efficient leadership hallelujah it's you we need you more oh god hallelujah when you are there there is freedom when you are there there is liberty when you are there there is fullness of joy i pray oh god from this day onwards as saints as together we pray as your children as your body when we are praying together let there be a change in our nation oh god hallelujah let the winds of your glory the winds of change hallelujah let it come upon our land oh father hallelujah from the north to the south from the east to the west father let your wind of revival flow oh god hallelujah i pray oh father that your healing will flow hallelujah Oh thank you father let there be a change right now oh god hallelujah change towards you a change towards you i know right now everybody is going in a different direction i know we are all not united in our thoughts we are not united in love oh god but we are praying that your wind will blow across our land i pray we will all come together for your glory i pray that the churches will come together for your glory i pray the people of every state the leaders of every state will join together in unity and work for the betterment of the 
nation, O oh God. Let there be an improvement in every department, O oh Father. Let there be an improvement in every area, hallelujah, of administration, O oh God. We place it before you. You can do it, O oh God. There is nothing impossible with you. Let every evil stop right now in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. Let every hand of the enemy, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, be proved vain, hallelujah. Let every plan of man, let every plan of the devil, hallelujah, let it become nothing in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Right now we are praying together, hallelujah, oh Rabba Shakatala Rabba Kaba, let a miracle take place, oh God, oh let, the, let it be known unto the world that there is a God, oh the true God, and he is the God of India, oh God, Father, let that be spoken, oh Father, let that be known, oh Father, hallelujah, let the enemy not triumph, oh God, let man not prevail, let not the plans of man prevail, oh God, I know there are many people working in power, abusing power, oh God, hallelujah, we know that the people, hallelujah, below poverty, in poverty, in the middle class are being trampled upon, oh Father, have mercy, oh God, have mercy, oh God, oh we pray for all those who are struggling, oh Father, oh hallelujah, have mercy, oh God, all those who are watching this program right now and if they are probably at the verge of losing, hallelujah, their jobs or losing their income. Father, we especially pray for them. Have mercy, O God. O Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. You are the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I pray, Lord, that every wicked plan of the enemy, every wicked schemes of man, every wicked schemes of the devil will not prosper against your children, O God. Protect them, O Lord. You said in famine, I will protect you. In famine, I will feed you. Lord, when, the, when your children were in Egypt, Lord, wherever your children were there in Goshen, you provided light for them. Oh, you, you protected them from plagues, oh God. What affected Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody around them couldn't touch them. Oh, Father, I pray in the same way. Oh, God, protect your people. Oh, Lord, protect your people. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I pray nobody will lose their jobs. I pray nobody will lose their property. I pray nobody will lose the money that they have invested. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Restore unto your children all that they have lost. We pray for our legislature. We pray for our, ex for our executive team. We pray for our, for our judiciary team. Oh, Father. Father, Lord, give them your wisdom. Let your wisdom work through them, O God. Lord, we pray for every court case that is pending, O God. Hallelujah. We know there, are, there may be so many cases that are pending in the courts all across this nation. I pray, O God, that justice will reach your people, all those who are crying out. Hallelujah. For justice all across this land. I pray, O God, O righteous judge, that they will receive what is due for them. We are praying with a burden, O God. We are praying for the farmers. We are praying for the debtors. Hallelujah. We are praying for all our taxpayers, O God. Hallelujah. Have mercy on them, O God. Meet their need right now in the name of Jesus, wherever they might be, O God. Let help find them, O God. Hallelujah. Whatever is being given, Hallelujah. Let them receive it, O Father. Let not one person lose out on their blessing. We pray for every hospital all across this nation, O God. All those who are struggling, O Father. Father, we pray that your healing rain will fall upon them, O God. Let there be quick recoveries, O Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let there be quick recoveries, O God. Let every scam end, O Father. I pray nobody will play around with the lives of your people. I pray that no other foreign nation will play around with, with India, O God. Have mercy, O Lord. Let your glory be our protection, O God. You be our protection, O God. You be a wall of fire around our borders, O Father. You be a wall of fire around our churches, O God. You be a wall of fire around our children, O God. We are crying out unto you. Let the corruptions change. Let the, hallelujah, wickedness change. Hallelujah. Let the increase in sin change, O God. Let it be stopped in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are praying. Hallelujah. As a family, 
as a nation, hallelujah, that we will experience your joy once again. The joy that the people had at the time of independence, I pray, will be restored to India, O oh God. Even this year, as a nation, as they look up to you, I pray that the people will have their joy restored. I pray, Lord, that people will smile if there is anybody watching this program, if there is any family that has lost their peace, lost their joy. They are saying it has been so many years since we smiled, since we laughed together, since we ate together. I pray that that will change today, O oh God. Let there be, hallelujah, reconciliation that will take place in homes. Let every divided families come back together, O oh God. Every broken relationship, I pray right now in this Independence Day, let it be made whole. Let the broken, hallelujah, tabernacles and tents of David be reconstructed, O oh God. Let there be joy and singing and sounds of praise in every home. Once again, let it be heard. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do great things. I thank you, Lord, that your name is going to be glorified. I thank you that because you are in us, we are going to be streams that carry your presence everywhere, healing everywhere, joy everywhere life everywhere. We are going to experience that. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your blessings that you're pouring upon this nation. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.